This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. Let's play Counter-Strike on OpenBSD. Of course, this is the Counter-Strike Classic and not CSGO. For this one, thanks to this user who I cannot pronounce unfortunately his name. He has put a lot of effort to port CSMO on OpenBSD and CSMO basically is an engine or something on top of Zash 3D which facilitates playing Counter-Strike. The only drawback of this effort is that it doesn't contain the game artifact. So somehow you need to get the game artifact yourself. If you have a, an old uh, CD of CS, you can actually extract it there or you can go and buy the game on Steam and extract the game artifact or another way is to find the CS on the internet and get it through that way. So let's go through the installation process. First of all, you have to set up your OpenBSD ports. If you don't know how to do it, I have created a video. I'm going to link it on top right corner. So you can actually follow that one to set up your porting system. Afterwards, you can actually continue this video. So since my porting system is up and running, all I have to do is to create a directory under a slash user ports, call it my stuff and go to this my stuff, clone the csmo repository. Once we have done that, if we go to here, game csmo, and we try to compile it, it will fail because the path doesn't follow the OpenBSD convention. So we need to get rid of this guy, OpenBSD-CSMO. The easiest way of, of course is to just move the game directory to one path above. So for that one, games to here. And as you can see, as still we are under the my stuff directory, but we have this game here. So we can just safely go and remove the CSMO now. And now we have to deal with the game directory. So here, once you are in the game directory, of course, under CSMO, just type make. I have done it already. That's why it doesn't do anything. And if it start to compile, then you will see a bunch of things going on. After a few minutes, the make process is done. And the next step is to do make install. So once you do the make install, it copies the compiled file to the appropriate directories and then you have the CSMO there. Now, we still have to do one more step and that one is to grab the game artifacts and then extract it in the proper places. So for that one, we are going to follow the guideline here. Of course, this guideline also is available on their PKG directory. So what is recommended here is to create a directory called Counter-Strike, so I'm on there my home directory, so I'm going to create the directory here, mkdir counter strike, and then we gotta copy two artifact directories, CS strike and valve. So these are not available in the port. You have to obtain it somewhat, as I mentioned, and you ne we need to copy it under the counter strike counter strike directory. So I have this stuff under the desktop directory. So since I have already obtain the game artifact as you can see there are two directories so i'm going to copy this stuff so cp-r this one to the counter strike the next step is to copy some stuff from the csmo so we need to copy the entire csmo directory so let's do it i'm going to copy this one and then paste it here now if we go now if we ls the contrast strike directory you can see that we have this one this one these two are the game artifacts and then the engine here and afterwards we have to copy some of the map from the game artifact to the csmo directory it will warn for the overwrite we are going to override it it's just four maps here and then we are going to export this environment variable zash 3d it should point to where the counter strike directory located and afterwards we just need to type csmo and if i do that it should launch the game as you can see 
this is the game let me reduce the volume as well as make it full screen here so let's go full screen and we are going to pick up this one let's go with the how many 32 31 would be bots and we are going with the dead match so let's launch it and play it a bit to ensure everything works i played it the only issue is that sometimes it automatically jumps up like the game is getting terminated itself but other than that the performance everything else is fantastic i don't have any issue with it Oh god damn. Bye. I'm pretty bad at it. But I still I insist on playing it. If I die I uh, quit the game. Back. Okay, that's it. Alright, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, enjoy playing Counter-Strike. I would like to take a moment to thank Patreon contributors, Grog with 30 generous dollar, Stellar Orbit with 20 generous dollar, OpenBSD Maximalis, Alexander M, Hogarth Axcock, Monty, Russell Willis, and Seneca, OpenBSD Enthusiast, DM Liquid Mobius, and finally OpenBSD Curious, Ryan Woodford, and Sigturn.